Hello. <coughs> yeah, so uh, right now I am doing a video on comic books. Yes. So uh, the most popular comic for me is uh, Superman. And uh, actually, right now I'm watching a comic book movie on YouTube. You know, I didn't even know they had so many mo movies on YouTube before. But now that I know, I cannot watch a lot of them. I don't know if they're gonna get taken down or something. But movies these days are so weird sometimes. Anyway, um. Anyway, uh. uh so yeah, a lot of comic book movies that are out these days. Yeah. So, um. Yeah. And then, uh. Basically, I wanna talk about. You know, X Men Apocalypse and how I don't know some I don't know which movie or something. Yeah, so basically that's it now, you know. Um Okay, so basically Daredevil was starring Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner and I thought it was actually you know an okay movie. But yeah. And then uh basically that's it, you know. Uh so yeah, and then there they all was no, no, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Yeah, and then so other comic books are like The Flash or Cyber or Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel or Black Panther, uh, The Winter Soldier or Black Widow or um. Iron Man or in Falcon or Hawkeye or Iron Patriot slash War Machine or The Avengers or Justice League of America. Basically, it's all very popular comic books, and you know, I find it a lot of times to hear, you know, good, very, you know, not very good teams like, you know, The End of the World or, you know, some apocalyptic situation or, you know, Alien invasion, or you know, something like that. Yeah, so, yeah, there's one popular website that kind of talked about it hellocomics.com, and they talked about, you know, um, a bunch, uh, talk, they have a, a lot of uh, free comic books down there, like the latest ones, um, like for instance, the new Star Wars comic book. Um, or uh, the new Spider Gwen comic book, or Ga uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot and Rocket. Yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, that's it. Um, and um, basically, there's nothing much that interesting in it. Uh, so, yeah. And basically, I think that Groot and Rocket is quite interesting. I don't know why a tree and a raccoon can be friends. I mean, is that even possible in real life? And then, um, besides that, also, um, besides that, also, there's of course the Avengers. You know, they made already two films and a third and fourth film, the Avengers: Infinity Wars, about a bunch of uh, infin infinity stones that uh, like the mind stone or this and that yeah so the adventures is quite interesting and then also of course there's end man and all that um so basically that's it no? you know actually when like when doing this youtube videos i don't really expect it to you know be very great or anything but um whatever it would be appreciated if someone will actually watch it instead of just Ignoring the videos or acting as if you know everything's a joke, then it's kind of very sadistic. Quite frankly, quite frankly, it's very sadistic and all that. So yeah. Anyway, um, basically, yeah, that's it now. You know, um, there's not a ton of stuff out there that's pretty good and all that. I guess, yeah. So right now, um, the, I think the one of the um, 
The newest shows as TMNT are Shadow Snitch, Mutant Ninja Turtles. Remember, it used to be a 1990s TV show, and I used to watch it. Uh, the first one was okay, but I think that Megan Fox is a kind of lousy actor. But yeah, and then besides that, also there's of course you know, um, um, X Men Apocalypse. Of course, the first X Men was about first class, and then the second one's Days of Future Past. I didn't really understand Days of Future Past because it's about time travel and and the part I didn't really get, you know, anything, you know. Yeah, and then the main character was Wolverine because Wolverine is the main character in the comic books, so that's why he's the main character in the movies. And that's basically it. Yeah, and then in X1, X4, X, X4 actually, um, the, the first class was actually an introduction of, you know, the mutants in the 60s and, you know, the, the you know, how they, when they were younger, like, so I am um, basically... That's basically about that, and then um, I didn't really actually like you know understand the second film, but I think the first one was a great introduction, and then the third one, Apocalypse, with a very dark uh, character, Apocalypse, who wants to you know manipulate mutants and get them to join him in this, and then basically that's it, and then uh, X Men Apocalypse wasn't usually a bad film, I mean the special effects was quite good and then of course we got young Scott Summers and he, he get his brother dies and then um he meets Jean Grey who is you know an all powerful telepathic telekinetic mutant and then there's Professor X of course who is in a wheelchair but you know and he can can, can manipulate minds and all that and then besides that, of course, there's, you know, um, Nightcrawler and, you know, of course, the Apocalypse Gang, which is Angel, Storm, and Psylocke, and Magneto. Psylocke was such a, you know, I guess one, whatever they, whatever the, you know, the fan, the male fans want her to be, I suppose, or whatever. And then, yeah. Of course, uh, Alexandra's ship is still quite interesting. Getting to control the weather. And then, uh, besides that, yeah, that's basically it. And then, uh, besides that, of course, um, you know, the main character was Apocalypse. Actually, regarding that Apocalypse, I keep on thinking about how, you know, Apocalypse kind of turns Magneto back to his dark side and then but Magneto becomes good again I don't know the whole being able to control metals is quite interesting I don't know whether you know I want that kind of power but yeah I think the Psylocke power is pretty good by the way I think Mystic character is also quite interesting and then of course, um, there's Moira McTaggart from Professor X likes but at the end of the day she marries someone else and then there's some kind of you know, distance and whatever and then yeah so it wasn't a bad film yeah and then I'm kind of waiting for the Avengers 3 and 4 Infinity Stones I actually didn't really gonna watch Team NT Out of Shadows because I was kind of not in a good mood so I didn't want to watch it, but I don't know. And then of course there's Angry Birds. I usually watch Angry Birds on YouTube and there was like a free version. But it wasn't like, it was quite cute. The animation is definitely, you know, getting better these days. Yeah. And uh, also I wanted to say that kind of, yeah. Uh, Basically that's it, and then um, there's nothing interesting on me, so yeah, I'll definitely talk more soon. Yeah, comic books, there's so many of them out there, just to name all of them, it takes so much time. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the you know, interesting ones is probably Hellboy or something, one or two. I mean the name is basically not that good, but I mean the special effects of the movie was quite good so yeah yeah so 
basically that's it uh hello so yeah apparently i didn't record earlier so now i'm re-recording again so right now i'm going to do a list of films based on english language comics so the first one is alien vs predator and then um they were, and there was of it was of course based on the original 1970s films starring Sigourney Weaver, you know. And then there was uh yeah. So the first one was Alien vs Predator 2004, and then 2007 is Alien vs Predator Requiem, and then of course there's the 2015 film. I mean I'm doing chronologically from A to Z all the li the list of films based English language comics. So I know it came out in 2015, Simon Paul and Michael Douglas, or son of Douglas, and he actually his you know, dad was is actually 100 years old this year, which is actually freaking amazing. I don't know how how many people actually live until they're 100. Not many, probably. Anyway, um, so Avengers, um, yeah. So next at the A will be Avengers, and they had Avengers franchise in 2012, and then. The second one, Age of Ultron, and of course the third and fourth film will be Infinity Stones. And then for B, of course, will be Batman. The most famous probably uh, Batman 1989, so Michael Keaton. Actually, Bert, uh, Birdman, his latest film is kind of based on it, you know. Birdman is Batman, you know. And then there's, of course, you know, the, the sequels, Batman Returns 1992. Batman Forever 1995, Batman and Robin 1997, and then there was Batman Begins the New Franchise in 2005, and then there was the 2008 version The Dark Knight in 2012, the third and final film The Franchise The Dark Knight Rises, and if you didn't know that Joseph Gordon Levitt actually starred as Robin at the very end of the film, only for a few minutes, and then he was revealed that he was Robin, but in this case he was not the sidekick to Batman, he was just a policeman. And then uh, there's Batman vs Superman, which is uh, the first, uh, the precursor to Justice League America film, which is coming out soon, Dawn of Justice 2016. And then of course there's the animated films, Mars of the Phantasm, uh, Batman Mr. Free Sub-Zero, and Batman Mystery of the Batwoman. And then there's a thousand animated film. Uh, basically, uh, it's called Under the Red Hood, uh, which is actually about uh, Batman's protege, one of the original Robins, and it turns out to be Red Hood. And then, and there's uh, the son of Batman, which is an uh, animated film, Thousand Fourteen Looks. So the son of, and the son of Batman is actually Damian Wayne, who is his son. And then there was a sequel called Batman vs Robin, another animated film. And Robin here is another son of Batman. He became the new Robin. And then Big Hero Six is the 2014 film, uh, actually about robots and it's set in Japan. And it's basically a uh, sort of animated real steel starring Hugh Jackman. And uh, basically in that um, there are uh, robots fighting and all that. And then there's the Blade series, Blade One, 1998, Blade Two, 2002, and Blade Three, Trinity, 2004, which is actually. Uh, you know, um, basically it's a uh, starring Jessica Biel, and then there's of course Undersea. Now I'm doing chronologically the list of films, comic book movie adaptations, Captain America, and now of course there was the one in 1990, and then of course 2011 franchise, the first Avenger, and then 2014 The Winter Soldier, and then 2016 Civil War. And then there was the 2004 failure Catwoman, and then the 2005 film Constantine, and then under D there's the the film which I'm watching right now on YouTube, Daredevil 2003, and then 2016 the very sarcastic, uh, quirky beauty Deadpool. I actually didn't really like that film that much because, quite frankly, it's a total failure. Um, and I kind of find Ryan Reynolds to be horrible in it. And then there's the Doctor Strange. If you check out on YouTube, you should have, they actually have the 1978 TV movie Doctor Strange. And uh, yeah. And then there's the 2005. I don't know if so many, uh, so many female uh, superhero films are such failures. 2005 film Electra is another failure. And then there's the Fantastic Four, the one in 2005. And there's the sequel Rise of the Silver Surfer. 
And then uh basically there was Ghost Rider, Nicholas Cage, you know, for married to Lisa Marie Presley, Sir Doctor Elvis Presley. And then yeah, and then uh, Ghost Rider was in two thousand seven. And then the second the sequel which was Spirit of Vengeance and five years later. And then Green Lantern there was a few animated films and then there was a CGI action film Green Lantern starring Deadpool's Ryan Reynolds and of course there was the brilliant 2014 film Guardians of the Galaxy I never realized that Chris Pratt was such a sarcastic person in real life but yeah anyway hello yes now I'm back with you know uh, the letter H and in other H there's only a few Hellboy of course you know I talked about earlier Hellboy 2004 starring Ron Pullman and Hellboy 2 The Golden Army 2008 and of course there's Hulk, um, the 2003 movie Hulk, Eric, starring Eric Bana and you know, the 2008 The Incredible Hulk starring Edward Norton, and then, uh, yeah, and the I also has only a few, uh, Iron Man, Iron Man 2008, Robert Downey Jr., second generation actor, Iron Man 2, 2010 version, and Iron Man 3, 2013. Of course, I find the best Iron Man is not the CGI action films or another films that Robert Downey Jr. made. It's just the rise of Techno War, the animated 2013 film. And then under J is uh, Jonah Hex and Jurassic Park. And Jurassic World 2015 starring the very talented Chris Pratt. And then there's Justice League, of course. the mo uh, Justice League which is uh, the new movie coming out soon actually they got a ton of animated films of Justice, Justice League and then uh, under K is kick ass I don't know why they use the word ass when so many children will be watching the films anyway uh, 2015 um, Kingsman The Secret Service and then of course under M is The Man in Black uh, Bill Smith Men in Black 1, 1997, Men in Black 2, 2002, Men in Black 3, 2012. And then, um, uh, under O is Oblivion 2013. And then, of course, there's the Punisher movies, and then RIPD, R. then Red 1 and 2, and then Road to Perdition 2002, starring Tom Hanks. And then S, Real 19 Age Witch, um, the TV movie, not the TV show. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World starring Michael Cera, 2010. Sin City 2005 and uh, Sin City A Dame to Kill for 2014. Then Spider Man, of course. Spider Man 1, 2002. Starring to. to be something or whatever. 2004, 2. 2007, Spider Man 3. Then the reboot, The Amazing Spider Man 2012. And The Amazing Spider Man 2 in 2014. And then, of course, there is Supergirl 1984, that failure movie, like I said before. Then Superman 1, 2, and 3, 1978, and 1, and then 1980, Superman 2, and then Superman 3, 1983. And then, Men of Steel 2013, and then, um, so now T will be Teenage Mutant Teenage Turtles, the first, the reboot 2014, and of course, this year, Our Shadows. And then, of course, Thor. Thor 1 in 2011, starring Chris Hemsworth. And then Thor 2, The Dark World, 2013. And of course, Thor 3 will come out soon. And then, in the Wii, Wii for Vendetta. And then, under W Watchmen and Wonder Woman. And then, under X, X Files and X Men. X Men, f uh, I've got the X Men, there's a lot. X Men 1000. X2, X-Men United 2003, X-Men The Last Stand 2006, X-Men Origins Wolverine 2009, X-Men First Class 2011, The Wolverine 2013, X-Men Days of Future Force 2014, X-Men Apocalypse 2016. Okay, now, kind of ran out of breath just saying all the X's. <laughs> and then upcoming films, Batman The Killing Joke. Um, Doctor Strange, Suicide Squad, which is upcoming films, 2016. 2017 is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Justice League of America Part 1, starring Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Cyborg, Aquaman, and etc. And then the Lego Batman movie, and then Spider-Man, the third reboot, Homecoming, 
then Thor Ragnarok, Wolverine 3, and Wonder Woman finally. In 2018, Ant Man and the Wasp, a sequel to Ant Man, Aquaman, a uh, spin off film, Avengers Infinity War Part 1, Black Panther The Flash. And then, uh, uh, 2019, Avengers Infinity War Part 2, then Captain Marvel, Shazam, and then Justice League Part 2. And 2020, Cyborg and Green Corps. And then to be determined as, you know, a few, let me see anything interesting, the Batman, Black Widow, um, let me see what else, Die Hard Year One, starring a very young Bruce Willis, and then, uh, what else, Gambit, of course, the one starring Channing Tatum, Hellboy 3, Harley Quinn, I kind of know a stupid feminist, uh, many stars and then whatever, um, and then uh, Justice League Dark. I actually never heard of that until I read it. <sighs> and then uh, Lobo, Man of Steel two, which is Superman two. Um, Nemo the Submarina, and then uh, Nick Fury, and then um. So sorry, I was cut off just now. And then right now, um, so now I'm gonna do be doing, um, yeah. So there's a few more. I know Sandman apparently. Just so Gordon Levitt backed out of it, and then Teen Titans. Yeah. So basically, that's a lot of that. So basically, that's a list of comic book movies based on uh, uh popular comics. Um, yeah. So yeah, and then list of uh, comic books, just in general, you know, since the first one was, in, uh, was from the 1930s. List of comic books. Let me see. Let me see where, where is it A to C. List of comic book titles. Okay, so this one's gonna take a while. Let me search around for it on the internet. The internet. So yeah, so basically under Marvel there's Avengers, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, Deadpool, Daredevil, Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, X-Men, Hulk, and Thor. Then you want to do from uh, A onwards, Agent War. Uh, let me see, uh, anything interesting from A? Well, there's a lot of them basically. Angel. Warren Wun Tung the second, and then there's Ant Man, Scott Lang, and then there's Arc Angel was in X Men Apocalypse. There's Avengers Ultimate. There's Banshee which was in X Men One First Class. And then there's Beast which was in uh, three X Men prequel films. And then there's Black Panther. There's you know who else is there? It's very popular. Black Widow which was you know, Natasha Romanoff. And then let me see. I'm trying to be, you know, neutral here. Bruce Banner, Thor. And then, uh, what else is there? Captain America. Uh, Captain Marvel, of course, just mention it. Yeah. And then there's, uh, what else is, uh, Clean Button, Hawkeye. And then what else is there? Let me see. Cyclops. <coughs> And then, um, uh, Deadpool, and then, uh, what else is there? Um, mm. let me see, Electro, Emma Frost, Enchantress, Fantastic Four, and then what else is there? Ghost Rider, Giant Girl, and then there's Guardians of the Galaxy, and then uh, what else is a Hawkeye, yeah. And then there's Hercules, there's Hulk, and then there's Iceman, there's 
What else is there? Let me see on the eye. Iron Patriot. Jessica Jones. Her own TV show now. Or next week show. Whatever that was. And then another K. Kingpin. And then under L. Under L. Let me see. Under L. Uh, much lizard. Uh. And then under M. Magneto. Yes, Magneto. And then what else is there? Nick Fury. Then under P, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Power Man, and then Q, Quicksilver, which was an egg, Avengers 2, and uh, uh, Rocket Raccoon, Guardians of the Galaxy character, Rogue, X-Men character, and the S, Spider-Man. And then it says Spider Man Spider Woman. You know, Spider Woman, not that famous. Probably the most famous Spider Woman, Jessica Chu. Oh, now she gets a uh, reboot under Spider Gwen. Star Lord, Peter Quill. What the hell is Star Lord anyway? Who would know? Why would you name a character Star Lord? Steve Rogers, Captain America. And then uh, Silver Surfer from Fantastic Four 2. And, uh,. Tall, tall, of course, tall. Who can forget tall? And then, uh, yes, I've got the P Professor X, U, V, and then another V, not many. Yeah, it's like the most popular. Le oh, War Machine, Iron Man, from War Machine, Iron Man 2 and 3. Um, yeah, Wolverine, and then. Yeah, basically that's it. All the list of comic book characters. There's actually, you know, so many of them. Basically, just goes on and on. I don't know. I guess having, I guess having, you know, um, just there's a lot of them apparently. Yeah. So basically that's my comic book rendezvous. But she's still watching the Devil Daredevil film. It's really long actually. It's like nearly three hours. I can't believe how long it is. Ben of like just X and kind of likes to act in those like high school type of films where it's all about you know stupid stuff I suppose yeah so I guess um, that's basically it and I'll be talking about more stuff in my next videos right now I um, yeah and right now it's the end baby the end yeah okay Actually, today, uh, yesterday I actually did go out and then I went to the supermarket and then I went and bought some food. I went for some walking. I talked with people. I, I did anything. A lot of interesting things. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah.